What are you doing here? Feathers are fluffling. What does that mean? Big storm coming, right? Yep, fluffling. I know, you better... You just love getting drenched and hit with hail and weird chicken. Well, good day, Tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So, we are going to hook up the plow to the 800 and uh, try plowing the garden here, see if everything's all good. I haven't opened it up here yet since we uh, had her out running before there, so I'm going to try a cold start, no choke again. I can't believe that started with no choke. Okay, I got this thing open here. And it opened. There she be, still sitting in there. These doors work pretty good on this one. That other one's really messed up. Um, okay. It smells a little gassy, but I better see if anything's leaked, I guess. Let's check. Yeah, we're good there. Hasn't used any oil. A little bit of run we did the other day wasn't very long, but she's all ice cold. Nice and ice cold. Let's check this and see if that went anywhere. Oh, that had a bit of suction to her. Hmm. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, she's up pretty good still there. I don't know if you guys see that. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That had a weird bit of suction. I hope this caps all right. Not the best of caps. But I guess she works. Um, as you can see, you know, I can't put my hand on there if I had her pre-started. It's cold. It's cold. Oh, it feels nice actually and cool. <laughs> it's getting really hot out. I think there's a big storm coming again. I'm going to probably have to go get some more gasoline in her. Yeah, I can see the top of that screen, so I'll do that maybe first and then come hook up the plow. Um, I don't see... Oh, well, there's a little bit of leakage there out of something. I don't really know what, but hopefully it's all good. All right, well, let's fire it up. Oh, we better turn on our gas first here. I wonder, why won't it start now? What's wrong with it now? Good, and I'll put this in here. Oh yes, I gotta move all these bolts too. These are the bolts for all in, on these things here. And uh, let's just pull these off of here. And the one that I replaced was in here. I just did it to a regular coarse thread. So I'll stick these here, and then I had to make one out of a 5 16 bolt with two uh, so I had the, the threads of the 5 16 bolt, and then there was about this much, no threads, and then the head of the bolt. So I cut the, the coarse threads off and then threaded in some fine threads here. We'll see if she'll thread in. Well, if I drop it, that won't help much, will it? <sighs> Left-handed. Oh yeah, baby. We are golden. Darn fine threads. Anyways. That's good. I had to make that bolt like I say, so I threaded it. And uh, should be should be good. Should be should be good to hold her all in. So we'll just put those there. Okay. That's good. We gotta get gas. Oil's good. Uh, rear end oil is lots probably should change that too oh okay oh <laughs> okay we need that on so of course that's the choke button there pull it out i'm going to try it without choke 
and here we go. Wow! I can't believe that. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Should be first gear. I can't believe that starts that well. Probably something to do with that new ignition system. I would imagine. Now there's a funny noise coming from back under here and it sounds like a gear clunking. You know, like uh, one of the big driving gear things. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but it uh, should be good. Alright, i got to run and get some gas and uh, put some in her and then uh, we'll hook up the plow. Got many to choose from. Alright, we got her hooked up. <clears throat> Most likely going to have to do some setting up here too. So, uh... Bar in there, but it should be fine going past that. That's really weird. It should look a lot higher than that. I just don't know why it isn't. It starts to lift and then kind of cacks out. Hmm. Well, I can't even get it up high enough to get that skid out. Okay, give me a second with this thing. Well, I took the weight off. Thought maybe that was an issue, but it's uh, it's lifting about the same as with the plow on. I think I maybe kind of have to adjust in here this little nut thing here, and then turn the thing a little bit more. I have to research that one. I'm not sure on that. So, anyways, it's. Should be high enough. Should 
be should be high enough. Hmm. I hope. I guess. And uh, if it's not, I guess we'll have to fire up the two ends. I know it lifts higher. These things should lift pretty much right to the seat. Like these arms should be like way up here, quite a piece more up. So I think it's that thing there that needs adjusted. It needs to be advanced more. So uh, basically. <clears throat> needs to uh, turn more this way I believe it is and then it'll come up higher when you're like this should be you know kind of halfway up now and then this would be all the way up but I think we've got enough here we'll give her a shot here I don't want more rocks in the garden let's kick that off and I'll go grab a tripod pull out some of these weeds and uh, yeah, I think I gotta adjust that uh, little quadrant thingy there. I think that's what they call it. And uh, that should get her a bit higher. So, I see some blow-by <laughs> coming out there again. Oh man, it must be those rings. Although it's got really good compression. Coming out that, uh, yeah, I can see her. Oh man. I really don't want to tear all that apart again. Must need must need sleeves and stuff, but uh, anyways. Uh, I think we'll get a tripod. Yeah, I can see a bit of blow-by coming out of that vent still, so it must be one of the cylinders is not maybe in good shape. I don't know. Should have probably done sleeves and rings while I had it apart there, but uh, I mean, I got deep enough into it. I didn't really want to get deeper into it, if you know what I mean. So uh, anyways. For all I'm going to be using her, I'm sure it'll be fine. If it was really bad, like the Jubilee, uh, well, you'd be kind of forced to. <laughs> There's got to be some storm blowing in here. Well, I'll get you set up on the end, kind of like before. Hopefully you don't get blown over. And uh, i got to set up this plow a little bit as I go here. Get her digging in right. and It's all totally out of adjustment right now. So we'll start here. And... Uh, Go up the Dewey, I'll get you on the TP.
working. Seems like it's awful hot feeling to me, but uh, I don't know. Making a weird noise over there, like the head gasket leaking or something. I don't know. I got all these uh, sunflowers here. I got to pull out maybe before I hit them with the plow. And then uh, get the, the stalks off, I guess, and then I'll uh, sit them with the plow. I guess I'll maybe take my knife or something and chop the bottoms of them off. It's actually getting a little warmer than I kind of expected it to. It's still in the green, mind you, but I haven't made it work that hard. An awful lot of heat coming off of there. Keep an eye on that, I guess. That shouldn't take long to heat that up. But uh, anyways, I don't think I'm going to be able to just pull these out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I'll who? Huh. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if that's why they had the thermostat out of that. Maybe they felt it was heating up too much. It seems a little warm to me. There's no thermostat there, it would just be cycling, right? Now it's seem to get warmer that I shut it off. Start right up again, that's good. Got a weird hesitation. It's this tank that's rattling that's for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna leave these bigger stalks in and just plow the rest of this I guess this is cultivated so it should be fine and then in the spring I'll come over it again with a disc or something and then uh, do that so I'm just gonna plow a bit more here and then uh, hopefully she doesn't blow up on me
Well, that's a good thing. I guess you guys come with me in the last one here. I've been going in three, but the way the, wor the, way the world is, it's a little bit uh, deep in some spots, but it's working. So uh, I'm here right now in third in reverse. Pretty handy. I lose my rake in the garden. Alright, my back are up. I'm going to have to see about that lift. Why it's doing that, I don't know. It's not coming up high enough, but I think i got to adjust that quadrant. somewhere. It's interesting. Everything's all looped up. Definitely in the front there. Well, look at that, eh? Third gear still, too. <laughs> pretty happy there, but I don't like that temp. That's pretty warm, I think. Might go get my temp gun and give that a Give that a temp. All 
right, let's idle her down and see uh, what we're running at here. This is going to be... Why am I frozen up? like the electrical system here. Ooh. I know that's going to be hot. I'm concerned about right. Yeah. Something it doesn't like here. I might have to do it while it's shut off. can't remember what uh, thermostat we put in this now, but... Something doesn't like this thing running. So, yeah, it's all garbly now. Let's try it again. One head is ooh, pretty warm on this side 236 Getting kind of a glare for you is there it's not too good I'm sorry uh, what about the radiator down here should be cooler 170 and then up here it's about the same it's not cooling it a whole lot 200 degrees there though, so the hose is acting weird. What about up here? 180 on the tank. Okay, so let's go. Oh. Celsius is 87. Boiling, like water boils at our Celsius temperature at 100. So, 94.96. You can definitely see the difference here. 91. If I get closer, it'll probably go up. Yeah, pretty close. 91 and then 70. So it's taking it down about 20 degrees. This will be wicked hot over here, I'm sure. It's so hot, it's messing it up. 220. 220 is pretty warm on the exhaust side. Is the alternator warm at all? 43, that's pretty good next to all that heat. Oil filter canister. 79. Let's go back to you fellers down south of me. Uh, no, mess it up again. So the manifold here, we're 303 174.5 on the canister the alternator is about 115 ish and up here we're 203 205 and down below we're like 115 or so 170 there that's well, not too bad uh, the coil is 150 that's kind of warmish yeah that's pretty warm actually I hope that's engine heat warm probably is radiated through it it's sitting roughly at 180 and it's it's pretty warm. It's a real hot spot for that thing. Manifold. Sorry, the, the head and the cover. About 150. And this is about 200 there. And 160-ish. 155, 60-ish there. So, I guess... That's alright. Well, it seems like it's okay there. I think that's going to be fine. It's 100 and... I can't remember which one I put in. I'll have to look back in the video. There's a, a 188 degree Fahrenheit and a 172, I think. And I don't remember which one I put in, but... 
she's definitely pressurized now holy I see a little bit of a drip down here though I'm not sure where that would have come from but we'll have to keep an eye on that doesn't look like it expelled anything so that's good it hasn't got too hot that it just boosh and fired it out I wouldn't want to open that right now though my yeah but uh, yeah she uh, you know what seemed to run pretty good I can't complain it's a little bit of a blow by though and there's a bit of oil coming out there so that's not good a little bit of blow by wasn't bad though honestly like uh, I think there was a comment way back when we first discovered the blow by I'll just run it for a bit it'll probably clear out I kind of think it's not doing too bad so uh, yeah I think we should be good so let's just fire it up here again and see if she'll fire up seems happy I got a new muffler for it it's in here but I can't obviously do that now but uh, just I want to get away from that because that thing's kind of leaking, right? So, oh, I think it's going to quit. So I got to install that. That's the end there. I guess that's having problems. So we'll have to uh, have to install that guy. Not someday. Um, I guess too hot right now, but I guess we're ready to slap the hood to her. That'll make her look a little nicer. But you can hear the a little bit of an exhaust leak. You can feel it puffing through there. So I imagine this piece, this elbow underneath, is probably wore out a bit. So I might have to. Uh, well, let's temp that. Let's see what temperature that is. See if my silicone will meet that or not. Oh boy, that's pretty warm. Get closer without it bugging up here. Oh, she bugged up. Must be some kind of electrical in interference that it doesn't like. And then it kind of screws the whole screen up. Now let's check her again here while it's still warmish. So we're probably looking at in around the 400 degree mark. 420, I seen a spike there. We get warmer as it gets down here, of course. So probably 420 degrees Fahrenheit, which actually um, 420 is, let's say 200. So 420 Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. So the red stuff says it's good to. 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy smokes, I'm going to make her work for that. 650 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like 200 degrees hotter than what we're doing. So maybe I'll put some of that on just to seal it up a little bit too. And uh, give her a good test, that's for sure. Well, that squeaky noise I heard when it was running. I think it's that. As it vibrates, it's rubbing, making that noise. Uh, I sprayed a bit of stuff on that pin. I, I don't know why. I greased her up real good. So, uh, I'm going to see what I can do with this quadrant thing here. I don't know how you adjust that. I'm pretty sure it is adjustable. But what needs to happen is this needs to loosen this nut and then this shaft needs to turn more and then tighten it back down to this quadrant guy here so we need to unloosen it and try to turn it I don't know how that's gonna come off when it's so dirty like that it might be a fight it's one of them uh, locky nut things I better get her cleaned up see if I can get that little higher okay once again it's a really tight spot i can't really get you in here but i'm just i'm gonna unloosen this nut and uh hopefully it'll kind of come free there's a bit of a
Well, that's taken off tension, so I'm kind of hoping that that thing will break free, or maybe I gotta take it right off and then turn the thing and then put it back on. I'm gonna try to get you on a tripod because I need two hands. All right, let's see if we can get this adjusted here. Get this thing right on here, it'd be a lot easier. And then this thing, this quadrant controller arm I'm holding with this hand will probably be stuck on here. Oh yeah. And it'll probably be stuck on there and it probably, oh no that's on there. And it probably won't come off. Okay, so the nut and the washer and everything's off. No, it's moving. If I just had a little prior prior in there, we'd be all right. Just in case I mess her up totally here too, I'm just gonna mark mark it. There's a little. I think it's leather. Probably should have taken off this too, I guess. It's not stuck on this thing, right? Those look like about a 716. Let me just pull that little handle off of there. All right, that thing's off. Should come off a little easier now. Oh yeah, simple. Okay, so that is keyed. I didn't want to see that. Well, that's not good. It's got a keyway in it. That's not, holy Jesus, Chippy! Get out of here! Oh, he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> he come running in at me there underneath the tractor. Oh, okay, so that's not how I adjust that. Um, I thought that would be under there. Unless that pulls out. little gasket dewey. Hmm. That doesn't seem like it does much. Let's fire it up here for a second. bugger that thing by taking that and pulling it off. I don't think so, but um, hmm. Well, I'm going to have to research that a bit more, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's turning better there now, so that it's off tight. Okay, let's fire it up here again. It's actually cooled off a whole bunch now. Yeah, that's lifted up higher, but this this thing isn't going back far enough for something. Look how high that's lifted the plow now here. Actually, a little too, bit too high. Uh, lift her up about where I want her there, but for some reason, yeah, that's really good. I was like, uh, well, I marked my pants where it was before when it was lifted, standing by it, so it's like another foot higher. Why? What am I missing here? Am I missing where maybe it's this whole bracket I gotta move? <laughs> Uh, boy, I don't know. That's really weird because now that I kind of fit this thing in, it uh, seems good and it hasn't moved from my mark. Um, okay. I'm confused. Well, um, 
Okay, maybe that nut did change something. I don't know. Let's throw her back together. Okay, she's back together. I haven't tightened that nut. I just want to see if it lifts higher now. Well, that's like perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay then, bud. big storm coming so uh, I left the plow on back there and I had enough room so that was good and uh, <clears throat> it's just not uh, not coming around a lift on that I'm gonna have to do some research and go and read my book there maybe it's good here but then this handle would be like way back here somewhere so I don't I don't think that's right and I was messing with the draft control on the position there and it doesn't really seem to do anything I, I don't know I gotta read on it and figure it out and uh, go from there so anyways um, I guess I probably should put this down oh that didn't sound too good whoops I think we might have crunched something on the little bike here whoops Oh well, she's down now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll uh, leave her for now. Get to doing some reading, and uh, it's just weird because I, I wonder if it needs an adjustment inside. I really don't want to take that apart, but 
this just doesn't seem to be doing anything until you get kind of near the top. So I'm wondering if something's out of adjustment or wore out inside. I know there's a couple of little pins in there. Uh, what is the name for them? I can't think of them now. Little pins in there that wear out or fall out. And uh, I don't know. There's lots of fluid in it, so it's not a fluid problem. I checked that, and that should be good. But anyways, for today, that's good. Uh, she's going to storm a crazy like crazy like here, so I'm going to close up and uh, call her a day. But uh, overall, hey, I think we did pretty good. I just got to figure out that lift and get that uh, get that sorted out and uh, should be good machine. But anywho, if any of you have an idea how to adjust it, if I'm doing that wrong, if you got an idea, let me know. It seemed to kind of work and then I tightened that thing down and then it didn't work. Tighten that big nut down. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So, I don't know. Something maybe wore out inside too. <sighs> but anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. And uh, you guys have a good day, and uh, I think that plowed pretty good, so hopefully she's ready for the test coming up, if I can get that lift to work better.